Kumbuka vyema tuko kwenye msimu ambapo kesi za ubaguzi wa rangi zinaendelea kuongezeka dunia nzima. Andazi are talking right now. Kuna maandamano kule USA kufuatia kifo cha George Floyd ambaye ni mwanaume mwenye asili ya Kiafrika aliyeuliwa na polisi mwenye asili ya Kizungu. Na mara nyingi watu hufikiria kwamba kesi za ubaguzi wa rangi hutendeka kule USA peke yake lakini hazizi katendeka hapa Kenya. Na hapa Kenya kumekuwa na cases kama hizo ambapo rapa anajulikana kama Calligraph Jones kwa mara ya kwanza amezungumzia jinsi alivyobaguliwa kirangi hapa Kenya. Kumbuka kwamba Kenya the largest population is made up of Africans hapa Kenya. Lakini kabla tujiendelee kwa mara yako ya kwanza, kutazama video zetu, tafadhali make sure umesubscribe. Na hiyo kengele sikaotokea hapo mbele, make sure umebonyeza pia ili uweze kupata our next training stories. Rapa huyu pitia kurasaka kijamii wa Instagram alionyesha masikitiko yake jinsi alivyotendewa wakati ambapo alikuwa anatafuta nyumba kule Langata. Huyu rapa akisema kwamba kuna hizi nyumba ambazo hapa Kenya huwa tunaambiwa hatufai kumiliki kama sisi si wa asili fulani. Akapeana example akasema kuna nyumba ambazo ziko kule Westlands ambazo huwezi miliki kama wewe mwenye, we mwenyewe si wa asili ya Kihindi. Na pia Langata cases kama hizo ziko tu ambapo uwezo kamiliki nyumba fulani kama wewe si wa asili ya Kihindi. Rapa huyu akapost picha fulani pale ambayo imeandikwa hivi while we are addressing racism can someone address the indians only apartment and houses in westlands and langata na pale chini ya caption akisema hivi last year i went to langata to inquire about some nice houses i had seen on the internet after getting there we were prevented from entering the estate because we were told we aren't indians apparently only indians can own property in that area nilijua ni mazishi nikarudi kayole pole pole the OG was not respected. Hapa Khalid of Jones anasema tu vile alivyofurushwa kwenda kuchukua zile nyumba. Akaambiwa hizo nyumba huwezi kaingia kama si muindi. Lakini hizo cases huuzi kusema tu kweli. Lakini kwa maoni yako ni gani? Have you experienced such cases while living in your own country hapa Kenya? Washaibaguliwa kirangi. Maybe ukaambiwa uweze kukuza kitu fulani kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe si muindi ama wewe si mchaina ama wewe si mzungu. Unaweza tuachie maoni yako kwenye comment section utuambie. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye bye.